What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace your headlight bulbs in your Mark III Focus. Uh, I have a Focus ST3 so it has uh, like premium light bulbs, I don't know like what they call them but they have, they're not just like a regular H11 bulb, they're like a xenon light that like plugs in and is a little bit different. I don't know which of like the SE Focuses have these optioned headlights but it is relatively the same process just to take the headlight out and uh, unplug it and then you'll take the cover off and replace the bulb so it is still like a similar thing just because it's like the same card sim but i'm going to show you how to replace these i'll kind of show you what they look like in this box i uh like an actual uh oem replacement or whatever was like 130 dollars for one bulb and these were 40 for two on eBay. So I'm gonna try them out and see just cause I have one light that's out. But uh, this is what they look like. And they'll just plug in inside of uh, your headlight. So there they are. The first step you wanna do to uh, take them out is remove uh, this bolt here and this bolt here. I have dress up bolts in my car. But a regular one will have a torque screw and all you got to do is unscrew those two and then kind of wiggle a little bit because it is kind of like set down in there and has like a, it's not like a clip, but uh, it just kind of, you have to pull it out at the right position to actually get the headlight out. So just kind of wiggle a little bit until you can pull it out and then you'll see the plug and then just unplug the plug and then you'll get the whole headlight out and then just set it on a like soft surface like carpet or grass or something because these headlights i believe for like the st3 the premium ones are about like a thousand dollars for like oem ones so you don't want to mess them up i've actually already uh restored mine and put a uh, new clear coat on them so uh, mine are in perfect condition so i'm probably just going to do it on the grass or on some carpet and then i'll kind of show you where to go from there so to change the light you just pop off that uh rubber cover there and then take a screwdriver. Sorry, this is kind of hard to hold. And then you'll pop off uh, that plug right there. And then once you got that off, I'll show you how to uh, get off this little plastic black tab in there that actually holds the light bulb in there. So if you look in there, I'll kind of point with the screwdriver so you can see there's this part right there. And then there's one on the other side. All you got to do is reach your fingers in like this and twist that black piece, not the light, but the black piece. If you have bigger fingers, you might have to use screwdrivers, but my fingers just fit in there. And you grab it and twist it counterclockwise. And after you t twist it counterclockwise, you'll see it's loose like this. And then you'll just be able to pull it out just like that. And then all you gotta do is put the uh, black piece on your new light and then twist it back in there. And I'll show you how to do that, but you can see uh, this piece is just on there and it snaps on there. All you gotta do is snap it off and then put it uh, back down inside the headlight and then twist that piece uh, back clockwise until it snaps and it's solid in there. And then make sure to uh, grab it and plug it in before you do that because it'll be hard once you actually get the light in there. And just so you see what it looks like, you can see this is the old bulb here. And all you gotta do is grab this thing and just pull it off and it just snaps right off. And then you take your new bulb and snap it on and just put it in how you take it off. So you can see here's a new light in there. I just plugged it in first. And then I just pushed this in there and twisted it down in there until it was all the way down. And then I just reached in with my fingers and you can see uh, there if I just twist. It's easier to do with this hand. You can even almost just use one hand. But I uh, see I just pressed it and it clicked. And now this is solid in there and it's not going anywhere. So that's how you put it in there. And all you gotta do is put the rubber cover back on and then plug it in and they should work. Then I'm gonna show you how to adjust them so that they're uh, at the right spot. So once they're installed, if you need to adjust them, you go down here and you can barely see it since it's dark, but there's a seven, millim seven millimeter hex. You can just use an Allen key and you just kind of pull up to like a wall or a garage. And then you just stick the uh, key in there and you can twist it to adjust them and it'll raise the lights up and down to uh, get them to shine how you want. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car and adjust them and then I'll kind of show you the process of that. You just won't really be able to hear me because of the engine running. But uh, I'll go ahead and start them. So you can 
see they're both on. And then I'm just going to reach in here real quick and close the garage. Uh, shut up, I know the key's not in it. So there's that. And you can see it's in there like that. And now I'm lowering it by turning it counterclockwise. And here I can raise it by moving it up, which I'm just gonna raise it a little bit. I don't want it to be like shining in people's eyes or anything. So, uh, now there's this one. And you can see there's that one up there. I just gotta get this one to match it by raising it just a tiny bit. And I'm pretty sure that they are pretty sensitive, so you don't want to do it too much. So that seems about right for me. And uh, these eBay headlight bulbs actually turned out to be uh, pretty bright. And I don't really have any problems with them. Uh, not being bright enough for you know what they are and everything so uh thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video